What's going on, Squirrel Squad? How are we doing today? It's your boy, the Squirrel. And today we're doing James the Caster on the absurdity of the British Empire. I um, got this emailed over to me, a link, and uh, a good friend of the channel said, Hey man, you should check this out. It's a cool piece. I was like, Hey man, you know me. Blah, blah, cool pieces. That's not what I said. Uh, that's not what they said. Anyways, uh, it's James the Caster, and uh, we're going to give it a roll today. And uh, we'll see what we think. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're new here, hit the subscription button. We do all kinds of reactions around here. And uh, if you like music reactions, go on over to the other side of Squirrel. That's where all the music reactions are going to be from now on. Do some uh, some food tastings over there. We do some music reactions over there. And I'm also on a journey to listen to all 195 national anthems from every country in the world. That's a fun ride. Anyways, uh, <laughs> here we go. Let's check this out. James Acaster. A long time ago... But not long enough ago, and it's not still very relevant. <laughs> Everyone in Britain got in a big old boat, and we set sail, and we robbed, and this will sound far-fetched, everyone in the world. <laughs> Do you remember that? What a spree that was. Do you remember the great heist? What a spree. And we got all the swag, didn't we? And we took it back to old Blighty, and we hid it, this is the clever part, we hid it in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> Last place anyone looks. <laughs> now it's the modern day, and all the countries who stole stuff from are asking for their stuff back. But uh, don't look worried. We're totally saying the blanket, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, a few of you are sitting there. I can see your angry faces. Like, so what? Fighters keepers, shut up! And. <laughs> Listen, in your defense, fighters keepers, shut up has worked very well for us so far. <laughs> Against all those have knocked out, out the park, finders keep us shut up. <laughs> but even you've got to admit, right? If someone stole something off you as an individual, it's your favourite thing, and they nicked it, and you knew who nicked it, by the way. For a fact. Not a hunch. <laughs> you know who's stolen it. Everybody knows. It's common knowledge. Some people have written books about it. They've definitely nicked it off you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out real fast, because I've noticed that this guy's got a cool-ass shirt on. Look at the size of that pocket. You gotta appreciate a guy who wears a shirt that he can put his lunchbox in the pocket. I love it. You go to ask for it back, and they're just standing there. They're not even running away. They're twice your size. They ain't scared. They haven't even bothered to hide it. They've done the opposite of hiding it, actually. They put it in a glass display case. <laughs> it's there from seven different angles, real clear what it is. There's no dispute it's the same thing that once belonged to you, because there's a plaque next to it. That says it used it's to It's exactly what it is at the top of the plaque, and then a paragraph underneath about how important it is to you and your culture. <laughs> You'd be forgiven for thinking, mm, I'm pretty sure they haven't got a leg to stand on here. <laughs> Probably going to take this home today. They must have been so confident, all them countries, when they asked for their stuff back. Walking up to Britain, saying to their friends, wait in the car, don't even need you. <laughs> be back in a jiffy, mate. Hey, man, uh, a while ago, a lot of your ancestors stole loads of stuff from my ancestors. Yeah, I'm here to take them home. Let's write this wrong. What do you say? They must have thought the British person at the door was going to go, absolutely, you can have them back. We stole them, after all. Yeah, right. But instead, we went, I don't think so. <laughs> We're still looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just looking at it these days. And there's a lot of other people who haven't seen it yet we'd quite like to show it to. So, <laughs> not right now, selfish. <laughs> Don't sulk about it. Look, no, it's no hard feelings, mate. Hey, you can look at it. Come on in. Have a look. Have a look. Seem familiar? Stop <laughs> 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 behind the room. <laughs> That's, That's why the British Museum is so busy all the time. No British people ever go in there. It's full of people from abroad looking at their own stuff. <laughs> walking in the corridors, reminiscing about the good old days, then I imagine just openly robbing the gift shop at the end. That is one all, you punks. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Um, that was really good. I, I enjoyed that. Um, so James the Caster, The Absurdity of the British Empire. I think it was a great little uh, fun poke, you know. Um, nothing, uh, you know, nothing bad. But it's kind of—I mean, it's—it's—it's—it's—it's it's, 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 it's funny, but it's true. I—I uh, I would imagine. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's real, right? I mean, it's real. I know it is. Uh, anyway, 
It was funny, though. I mean, that's the great thing about comedy. You can talk about anything and just find the absurdity in it. And that was absolutely the most absurdity he could find in this whole bit. It was great. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I, really, I loved it. I thought it was great. I laughed a lot during that. <sighs> that was funny stuff. This guy's brilliant. Fart, smart, smart, smart mind. Uh, funny and smart. I almost said fart a minute ago. I, I really did. I almost said it. I was like, oh, I, just, I was trying to say funny, smart. Anyways, uh, brilliant guy. Great sketch. Hope you guys loved it. I sure did. I'll catch you guys soon, all right? Scroll out. Mm-hmm.